I'm Megan. Thank you for joining me for this chair practice. I find that chair practices are wonderful, not only if you're limited to doing them, but anytime, because maybe you sit a lot at work or you can do them while you're sitting at your kitchen table. Very, uh, very accommodating, let's say. So today's going to be a whole body practice. We'll move the legs, the spine, the torso, core muscles, and the arms. So let's go ahead and get seated. No arms on your chair, preferably. And we're gonna come and sit on the, the edge of our pants. So slide all the way forward into your chair. So what we don't wanna do is lean back into the back of the chair as long as you don't feel like you're falling off. Come to the front where you can rest your knees right on top of your ankles. You should almost feel the edge of your, the edge, you're like you're on the edge of your seat, right? And you can feel your legs in a 90 degree angle, the thighs parallel to the floor and the shins are going right down to the floor. And feel into your heels for a moment, place your hands on your thighs. We'll start with some gentle spinal movement. Take a big breath in. See if you can feel that breath in in your chest. And then we're gonna make the movement just part of our breath. So as you breathe in, Bring your chest just slightly forward and upward. And as you breathe out, simply release. So breathe in, let the breath be the activity, the initiator of the chest and front body expanding all the way from the navel center through the throat. And as you breathe out, that easefulness of just letting the breath leave your body. And you can start to take it a little further each time if you want to add the head lifting up, do that. You might gently draw your shoulder blades towards your spine like you're taking your shoulders back. So see what works for you. And also notice your pelvis as you do this. Your pelvis might want to tilt forward the front of it and downward. So feel this through your whole spine, but think of filling your body, the whole front body from the belly to the throat and releasing on exhale. And you might start to add the sliding of your hands on your thighs, pulling your elbows back even more and then slide your hands forward, fall into that space of grace, that natural position. One more time and then release. All right, so what about the back body? I like to breathe into the back body as opposed to some, some yoga practices will always exhale on the rounding. We're gonna inhale on the rounding. So feel your back body from your tailbone. You should be sitting on that. All the way to the base of your neck. Now take a breath and think of breathing into the backs of your lungs. And let the backs of your lungs go towards the back of your chair. So again, initiate from the breath, nothing forceful. Exhale, release. Can you feel the backs of the right and left lung? Gently lifting and expanding and releasing. So now let's add a little bit more into that. As you're breathing in, start to bring the shoulders slightly forward. You can even slide the hands forward. Bring your chin towards your chest if you'd like. As you breathe out, just release back to center, shoulders over hips. Inhale, fill the space around your shoulder blades, your upper back. Exhale, release. Let's go into the lower back. Give that a little stretch as well. So now as you inhale, think of tilting your pelvis towards the back of the chair. So you're going to feel your weight go into the front of the sits bones or the front of your tailbone. So we inhale, lengthen the whole back line. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, lengthen, whole back line. So the ease of this is letting your breath initiate the filling and the expansion. There is a levity to the breath that allows you to create space in your back body very easily. All right, let's put these two together just to see how the front and back like to uh, work together. So we'll do the inhale is the movement and the exhale is the coming back to center. Check to see you're not falling back. You're still on the edge of your seat. So let's inhale, front body fills, slide the shoulders back, the elbows back. 
Exhale, just release to your neutral. Inhale, fill the back body. Round it. Draw your shoulders forward like you could touch your inner elbows. Exhale, back to neutral. So we're arching the back on the first inhale, coming to neutral spine on the exhale, and curling the back on the next inhale, and neutral spine. I'm going to be quiet. Just take a few on your own and experiment with where you're moving from. Does it feel like it's just your head and neck? Do you move from the center of your spine, from your pelvis, from your shoulders? See if you can vary the area where you're starting from physically. All right, come back to the center. We're going to continue with some spinal movement, adding a little bit more. You're going to take your arms up like two cactuses or goalposts. It's football season. Let's go with goalposts, though I'm in now in Ireland where I don't watch any football. <laughs> so we're going to take up those goalpost arms. As you breathe in, let your hands, we're going to let that chest come forward again, let your hands fall back. So you're going to feel a little bit bigger stretch through the front of the arm area, through this pector pectoral area. You can take your gaze up. And then as you breathe out, come back to center. As you breathe into the back line, let your hands fall forward. And then back to center. So we're going to be building a little bit of uh, strength in the arms, but also increasing that mobility in the shoulders. So the inhalation hands fall back. That's external rotation of the arms. Think of them as rolling back. And then on the exhale, come back to center. And next, inhale, round your back. Bring the arms forward. So you're internally rotating your arms and you're shortening the space of the front body. Inhaling, front body opens, back body shortens. Hands back, exhale, release. Inhale, hands come forward. Exhale, release. You might even build a little heat here or feel some, something going on in your arms, building a little bit of muscle. Exhale, always release. And if, you're, if it's too much, you can take your elbows further down. They don't have to be at the height of your shoulders. It's a little more work to be done up here. Breathing into the back and into the front. And release. Take one more round on your own. And let those hands come down. Maybe roll your shoulders around. We probably woke them up a little bit. Let's get into the legs. So you're still on the edge of your seat. You're going to take, we'll start with the left leg. Take your left leg and just slide it out first. And as you slide it out, reach the ball of your foot or your toes down towards the floor so you're going to feel a stretch in the top of your ankle. Best to have shoes off. Make sure you're on a slippery surface. And then take that back. So we're just going to slide it out on inhale, reach the ball of the foot towards the floor, open the front of the ankle, stretch it out. Exhale, slide it back to where the heel's underneath your knee again. Inhale, extend and reach. So these are simple movements, but we start simple and add on, so find this part first. And let's start to look down at the to toes as you're inhaling. So bring chin towards your chest, or think of nose forward, so we're not dumping the head forward. Just Bring the nose down towards the chest so you're lengthening the back of the neck as you're lengthening the top of the ankle. And then slide it back. This is a really nice one for the neck. Reach that foot, head forward, and release. Do one more with the left foot. And then we'll stop. So we're going to begin to add on to this, sticking with the left foot. Now you're going to inhale, slide that foot out, chin towards the chest. And then as you exhale, instead of just sliding it back, lift the leg up in your chest, draw the top of the foot towards your shin. So we were pointing the toes, stretching the top of the ankle. Now you're going to take the ankle in the opposite position. So this is dorsiflexion, ankle towards the shin. Everything is coming into what we call flexion, so squeezing in. You can use your hands to help bring the leg in or just use the strength of your leg. Let's just add that on one or two times so we understand where we're going with that. So you're inhaling. Extend the leg, chin towards the chest. Exhale, 
Squeeze everything in, even the top of the foot, towards your body, and you might draw the thigh towards your ribs and drop it down. One more of those. Inhale, extend the leg, chin towards the chest. Exhale. Draw it all the way in. Remember, you can use your hands or just your muscles, using those hip flexors. Next one, we're going to add on to this again. Now, instead of just dropping it down, inhale, extend the leg out. Here's where we're really going to get into our muscles of our thigh or quadriceps, right? You might feel those burning a little bit. So if it's too much, let it rest on the chair. If you want more, keep that thigh slightly off the chair. There's your inhale. And then exhale, set it back down. Let's do those with the left leg. Inhale, slide it out, extend. You can do chin towards the chest. You can let your heart come forward. Exhale, squeeze that leg in. Inhale, extend, push through the heel like you're pushing on a gas pedal or you're riding your bike. Exhale, drop it down. Once you have the leg movement, I like to add some arms in here. So as you're inhaling and sliding that foot forward, you can take your arms up overhead, get a little side body stretch. As you exhale, drop the arms. Maybe you're squeezing the leg. Squeeze it in. Once again, extend the leg on inhale. Arms overhead if you want a little more work. Go slow as you drop it down. That's part of the work. Drop it. Let's do two more of these. Inhale, slide the leg out. Extend. Feel the ankle open up. Your calf will tighten. Exhale, squeeze it in. Feel your calf stretch. The front of your ankle will close off. Your thigh squeezes. Inhale, extend the leg, push out through the heel and the ball of the foot. And exhale, drop it down, last one. Notice how that left leg is livening up for you, waking up. So chair, chair yoga is not for sissies. It it's, can be really uh, beneficial as far as strengthening goes and mobility. So this next one, if you want a little bit more, feel free to hold that leg out there till you start to feel that little shaking in your quad <laughs> or let it come down and let it rest. Pause for a moment. Just be sure to be on your sits bones and just feel your two legs. What difference can you feel between your right leg and your left leg? They're both still yours. Love them up, right and left, but notice the difference just from doing those simple movements. Let's do the same thing with the right. So we started with just the slide. As you inhale, you're going to slide that right foot forward, press the ball of the foot towards the floor so you're feeling that shin stretch in the front of your ankle. And exhale, just slide it back to where the ankle is right underneath the knee. Inhale, slide it forward. You might want to bring your chin towards your chest. Exhale back. Inhale, slide like you're looking at your toes, pushing the toes down into the earth, the ball of the foot into the earth. Exhale back. Let's do one more and check to see we're keeping our shoulders over our hips. We're not falling back into our chair and back. Let's add the next part. So you're going to inhale, extend that leg. And here's where we're going to exhale and flex that whole leg. Draw the top of the foot towards the shin. Draw the thigh towards your ribs, the calf towards the back of the thigh. Squeeze it all in. If you want to use your hands, you can, but I really like to use my muscles. Squeeze it in. That's your exhale. And then drop it back down. Take a breath. Inhale, extend the leg. Reach the ball of the foot towards the floor, chin towards the chest. Exhale, squeeze it in. And drop it down. Let's do one more with just that. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, squeeze it in. Move at a nice even pace with inhale and exhale. Drop it down. We're going to add the leg extension now to get those thigh muscles going. Inhale, slide it out, chin towards your chest. Exhale, squeeze the whole leg in. There's your hip going into flexion. Now inhale, extend out, push through your heels. So remember that cheat of, and it's not a cheat, you can let your leg rest more on the chair. Just watch, you don't fall way back. Stay up tall, so we're using some core too. And then let it come down on the exhale. Do a few of those. If you want to add the arms, we'll do that on the next round. 
There's your inhale extending. Exhale, squeezing in. Inhale, lengthen that whole leg straight out. Exhale, drop it down. Let's add the arms. Inhale, extend the leg, chin towards the chest. You can reach your arms up. Exhale, squeeze in like you're going to give your right leg a loving hug. Inhale, extend the leg. Maybe you take the arms overhead. There's a little more core involved there, especially if you stay forward in the chair. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, slide, chin towards the chest. You can take your arms up if you want. Exhale, hug in. I'm, I'm building a little heat here. Hope you are too. Inhale, extend the leg. Those thigh muscles are, are big and they, they like lots of, they take lots of energy and that, that means they build extra heat for you. Inhale, slide it. I think of our thigh muscles as energy hogs. <laughs> Want to keep them strong. Squeeze it in. Extend. Go nice and slow so you're feeling those muscles working for you in your leg. Exhale. Take it down. Let's do two more on our own. Sliding out. Exhaling, squeezing in. Extending out. Lifting up through the spine if you'd like. And dropping down. Last one. Just notice the front of the leg stretching and the calf shortening. Squeeze it in. Feel the calf sh lengthening and the shin shortening. And then push through the calf and the shin. Lift up like you're kind of get out of your seat. And then take it down. Both hands to your thighs. Take a big breath in through your nose. Sigh out your mouth. Just let your shoulders fall over your hips. We're going to do a bit of a side bend now. So we're going to change positions in the chair. So I'm going to have you turn first to the right. And just turn to where you're comfortable, where you're, you feel like you're half seated. Only, only one butt cheek is on that chair. Not, you don't want to feel like you're falling off, but more so the right butt cheek. The left's hanging slightly off. You can take your arm, your right arm, to the back of the chair for more stability. And we're going to start by placing our left hand on our left lung. So again, this is going to be breath-initiated movement. So start to breathe. We can actually send more breath into one lung than the other. So think of breathing into your left lung. Like you're trying to breathe in a way that you're, you're sending your left lung into your left hand. So see if you can breathe right to that left hand and then breathe out. What you'll notice is as you're breathing in, your body will start to bend sideways towards the, your head will go towards the back of the chair. Your ribs will go away from the back of the chair. So that's the movement we want. We're going to be doing a side bend or a lateral bend. But use the breath in to create that space from the left armpit to the waist first. And then we can add the arm movement. So now as you inhale, breathe into the ribs, the left lung, and reach your left hand overhead. And breathe out and take it down. So see if you can breathe into that left lung. And then use the arm to create a little bit more stretch. You can press your left hip down towards the earth as you reach through your fingers. Breathe out, come down. There's two ways to take the arm, and it will feel different. You can either take it forward and overhead and releasing it down, or you can take it to the front of your body, so palm facing the back of your chair, and sweep it this way. And it'll feel a little bit different. I usually go back and forth between the two. I go out to the side, feeling more lengthening through the whole left side. But what do you feel versus coming forward? With the hand, there's a little bit more of a tendency to find that back bend and arch in the back as you're side bending. Do two more rounds. All right, 
right, let's pause for a moment. We're going to do this again, but we're going to add the leg. So now we want to think, just sit for a moment and picture yourself from your left toes all the way to your left fingers, this whole left side body. So in yoga, that's the Ida Nadi. It's related to our feminine side, our lunar side, that part of us that likes coolness and darkness and calm. That's all the left side. But let's stretch it out and enjoy it. When you're ready on an inhalation, you're still going to breathe into your left lung. You're going to reach the arm however you'd like, but also take the leg, the left leg, and slide it out. So in the first slide, you may not want to go into a full extension. You might want to keep a bend in the knee. But see if you can really reach that leg and arm in opposite directions so you're feeling the spaciousness from your left hip to your ribs. If that works for you, and of course you're going to use the back of that chair to lean into, make sure it's stable. Exhale back. So inhale, press those left ribs forward away from the chair, reach through the foot, the leg. You're going to feel a little stretch in the inner thigh, perhaps, a little tightening in that outer left hip, and release. Just take a few of these with that leg added in. Or if you just want to stop and hold, that's always a nice place too. See if you can continue to breathe into the left lung. Your call, more movement, or just holding it. Take one last one if you'd like. Honoring the left side of your body. Just picture in your mind's eye the whole left side, all those nerves that run from your brain through your spinal cord all the way down to your toes, to your fingers. We're honoring that space in the left side and then letting it relax. So while we're turned to the side, the next movement we'll do will be rotational. So we're going to start by going to the right. So you can hold that chair back again and take your left hand to your right knee if you'd like, to your outer right thigh. Take a breath into your left lung. We've got that op awake and opened up now, right? Take that breath into your left lung. As you do so, start to turn towards the back of your chair as far as you can go and breathe out and come back. So what I like to do with this one is initiate from the breath because what typically happens if we don't is our head turns and our torso pretty much stays with the shoulders over the hips. So what we want to focus on is moving the spine and the torso. So rotating the rib cage and the shoulders and the head last. Just see how that feels. And exhaling back to center. If you want a little more stretch for that outer left hip, you can take the left leg and cross it on the right. Just make sure you're not falling off the chair. You might need to scoot in a little bit. I did. So now, hand can be to the outside of the left knee and inhale, rotate, and exhale, come back. So see which way you feel more stable, foot down or leg crossed. You can stop and hold the rotation once again. Just think of where you can feel this in your spine. Easeful rotation for the neck because the neck is typically pretty mobile. You want to feel it more through the center of your spine, through those 12 vertebrae in the thoracic area. Not as much rotational mobility in the lower spine, so focus on the upper body, shoulders, chest and release. Let's finish that side. Uncross the legs and move back to the center. We'll go to the opposite side. So start to turn towards the left side of your chair. You can hang the outer edge of your right butt cheek, your derriere off there if that's comfortable. Just make sure you don't feel tippy. You can hold the back of the chair. Pause for a moment. We're going to find that side stretch through the right side. So place your right hand on your Rib cage, if you can get it there, or if it's, if it's available to you. And start to think of breathing into your right lung. Put your hand there. Imagine as you're breathing in, you're gently pressing your rib cage into your right hand and breathing out and releasing. It's a very subtle, small movement. But you'll see how your spine will start to curve, side bend, so that the right side of the spine is opening up and lengthening and the left side is compressing or contracting. 
and go with that. Let your breath take you into that movement. So you can start to dip the left shoulder towards the back of the chair. Take your right ribs a little further forward. So let this movement start from the torso. The side bend needs to come from the spine itself and breathing into that right lung can help us get that feeling. And then we can take the arm in and by sweeping the arm, we add a little more stretch to that side bend as opposed to just reaching the arm. We want to feel the spine move and then the arm extend or just add a little bonus, a little extra to that stretch. And if you can't get your arm all the way overhead, that doesn't matter. We're looking at moving the spine into this lateral bend. You can do the out to the side and sweep up as I've been doing. You can also take the arm forward. A little bit more of a side bend and a back bend or a extension of the spine. Maybe vary the two movements through the arm. Take another full round for yourself, just feeling, being present. Maybe it's new for you to breathe into just one lung. Just knowing you have the ability to do that can be very freeing and empowering. I hope it is. Last round. You can stop and hold if you'd like or keep moving. Let's pause and add the leg in. But before we do that, just from a seated position, we use our mind's eye first. So we want to connect with our nervous system in the right side. Visualize the toes all the way to the fingers in the right side. And everything in between, everything to the right of the spine. All your nerves that are sending those messages for you. When you're ready, breathe into your right lung. We start the same, that simplicity of right lung filling. And then you can extend your arm and also reach your leg. Maybe it doesn't want to go all the way straight. Just reach it to where it's comfortable. And breathe out. Slide the foot back. Drop the arm down. Shoulders over the hips. Breathe into that lateral bend. Open the whole right side. Picture yourself from your fingertips to your toes. You can use the back of the chair for support. Reaching through the right. And back to center. Continue with the movement if you like the movement for a few more. And you might notice one side is a little tighter or shorter than the other. Take your time. Or you can stop and hold for a few breaths. It's powerful to connect to these spaces in our body, the length of the space from all the way from our brain through our spinal cord down to our toes, the longest length in our nervous system, and then all the way up to the fingers. Visualize the right side of your spine. And come back. We'll be doing our twist this time, so both feet can be on the floor. You can take your right hand across your outer left knee Maybe your back hand wants to support itself on the chair. Take a breath into your right lung again. Now we found it. Use that to your advantage. But now as you breathe into your right lung, turn towards the back of the chair. It's like your right lung is floating forward and around. Let it float and breathe out. Just float back as it empties. Your right shoulder just falls back over your right hip. Breathe in and turn the right shoulder towards the left knee. And breathe out and release. So keep it simple so we know we're moving from the spine. That's why I tend to not use arms. A lot of times when we use arms in a rotation too, 
or the head, if we're just moving the arm and the head, we forget about the spine itself rotating and remembering that the pelvis is pretty set. It's like it's in concrete. The movement is really from your mid waist and up. If you want to cross the right leg on top of the left, you can. See if that feels any better for you. If it's worse, go back to the other position. So feel the buoyancy of your breath, filling that right lung and floating it around. If you want to stop and take a hold, please do. Release, uncross the legs, come back to the center. I'm going to do one last chair movement, and this one is really to uh, wake up our core muscles a little bit. So what you want to double check is that you haven't fallen to the back of your chair. We want to be on the edge of the seat for sure for this one, but not falling off, of course. And then take your pelvis and bring it slightly forward so that weight's not in the tailbone. You want your weight to be in more in the sits bones. So no weight in the tail, come slightly forward. We'll start by just taking the left leg. You might want to take your hands to the sides of the chair for more support to start. Just take, lift up your left leg or foot off the floor and make some circles. And notice what muscles you feel. You might feel your muscles in your legs. We already warmed those up. But see if you feel anything in your lower abdominal area, maybe even your pelvic floor. Just rolling it around in circles. So feeling the strength of that left leg. And watch so we're not falling back. Stay forward, heart forward, shoulders back. You might want to do this with your arms up overhead if you want a little more challenge. And then for even more challenge, and you can stay here, drop the foot down, take the right leg, cross it on top of the left, just as we did in the twist. Start with your hands down here. See if you can give the right le leg a ride on the left leg. So we want to make sure we don't fall back. Keep your navel center pointing forward, chin forward, and lift up, and see if you can just move. I need to come a little further forward. I can tell I'm falling back. See if you can just move that left leg in circles once again. And can you feel a little bit going on in your lower abdomen? More of the supporting muscles of the torso should help to make this movement. Very small circles. If it's not working on cross, go back to the last one. Harder for me to talk when I do this because I'm definitely feeling my muscles in my lower abdomen clenching a little bit. Watch so you're not dropping back. If you start to fall back, you know you need to come back on the edge. If you want more of a challenge, <laughs> take your hands overhead. And this is a good strengthener for that left leg too, right? Because the left leg is supporting the weight of the right leg. Maybe you're feeling that. Ah, take it down. Relax for a moment. Take your big breath in through your nose. Sigh out your mouth. Pause and be present in your body. Gratefully present. And let's try the other side. So right leg, you can take your hands to the chair for more support, especially if you find you're rounding into your back. Take your hands back there, keeping your heart forward, your shoulders back. Just lift the right leg and start to make some circles. See how that suits you. Good mobility for the hip as well. Where are you moving from? Are you moving your leg from your foot, from your thigh, from the hip itself? Can you imagine the core muscles coming in and supporting that leg and moving that leg? So those abdominal muscles, anything that supports the spine. Now if we want a little bit more, make sure you're on the edge of your seat. Cross the left leg on top of the right. The left leg is just going on holiday. Relax it. Let the right leg do the work. Lift up and make those circles. And see if you feel, you're gonna feel that right leg working. I keep sliding back in my slippy pants. You're gonna feel the right leg working, but you're also gonna notice maybe a little bit in your core supporting the weight of the legs. If you wanna take your hands up, <laughs> a little more challenge. 
And sometimes just the lifting up and down, you don't even have to do the circles. You might be more limited. I know my right hip is definitely more limited, but I'm still feeling core. Watch the tendency to drop back, heart forward, or hands back here for heart forward. And drop it down. Please go ahead, slide back into your chair. Use that chair back. Let your hands come to your thighs. Flip your palms up. Close your eyes if, you, if you're comfortable doing that. Start with your feet. Just feel your feet touching the floor. Coming up through your ankles, shins and calves and knees. Just noticing whatever you can notice. Notice what you can't notice. Feel your thighs, fronts and backs. Sent your hips and all the way around the pelvis. Let your mind's eye go up your spine as if it could walk each vertebrae, each muscle and nerve, all the way to the base of the skull. And visualize the front of the body from the pelvis all the way up through the rib cage, the chest, the throat. Feel the palms themselves. Notice the position your fingers have found. Palms opening, opening to receive whatever it is that they need right now. Sense your whole arm length, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, everything in between. Follow the arms back into the chest to the heart center. From the space in your heart center, picture your own face. Maybe just turn the corners of the mouth into a gentle smile. You can keep your hands in this position or take them to your heart center. A kind way to finish this practice is just to say something nice to yourself. Give yourself a compliment from your heart whether it's to your body, to muscles, to a, to a joint in your body, perhaps it's some part of your body that's been causing you frustration or disappointed in. Say something nice to it. Thank you for joining me for this chair practice. I hope it was practical for you and that there's parts that you can incorporate into your everyday routines. It doesn't have to be a whole practice. Just take one part and do it next time you're sitting in a chair. Thanks for subscribing and thank you, Patreons, for all of your support so that these videos continue. Peace, joy, love, and light.